So we've all heard about this action button here, but honestly it didn't do much for me and it seemed kind of useless. So I figured out a cool hack to make it run all my go-to actions instead of just one. I just need to press and hold this action button and it pops up this super productive menu here. I pick what I need and things get done crazy fast. So let's just make this menu. So first we gotta make the action button menu shortcut inside this shortcuts app. But before we diving, let's just quickly check out the app to see what's going on here. But if you know how to use the app, just skip this part and go to the next part for creating the menu. So when you open the app, you'll see three tabs. The first tab right at the bottom is your shortcuts hub. All the cool shortcuts you add or create later hang out here. Plus, there are a bunch of examples for you to check out. The next step is automation, which is just another type of shortcut, but it happens automatically based on events rather than a manual command. For example, you want your phone to switch to low power mode when the battery hits 20%. But for our menu bar, no need to worry about automations. Alright, let's talk about the gallery tab. Here you'll find ready-made shortcuts list for all kinds of tasks. Just read the info for each shortcut, tap the plus button, and they are in your shortcuts tab. For instance, I need new note with date, which will create a new note with the current date as its title whenever I run this shortcut. Or let's say I need clipboard markdown to notes, which will save the text copy to the clipboard in the notes app, something I really need. So once you've got the shortcuts you want, head back to the shortcuts tab, go to all shortcuts. So all of your shortcuts are waiting here. You can just tap those three dots at the top right of any shortcuts to run it and see how it works. So for example, if you tap these three dots for every shortcut you need to use, and from here tap this arrow and choose add to home screen, you're gonna have that in your home screen and you can tap on that whenever you need it. So let's create our super productive menu. The menu we wanna create is a shortcut. First, go to the shortcuts tab, Hit the plus button to create a new shortcut. Now let's shape the menu. Click add an action, search for menu, choose choose from menu. I'm gonna name the prompt which action and list all my go-to buttons here. Mute, camera, workout music, Shazam, ask chat GPT, quick note, call your friend, calendar. Feel free to pick your own guys. I'm gonna add some fun emojis for a fancier menu here. So cool. Next step, let's find the actions. Match them to the buttons and put each action under the related button. So for the first one, search for set silent mode, tap and hold, then slide it under the mute button. Switch it to toggle so we can easily flip between silent and regular mode. Now for opening the camera, look for open app, drop it under its button and pick the camera app. All right, guys, let's keep it rolling. Next up, I'm gonna search for play music. Then find the gym playlist in my library. I can expand the arrow here and choose to shuffle songs and also repeat none. Now let's look for Shazam, drop it under Shazam and set it up to add recognized songs to your library. So time for Ask ChatGPT. Drop it under ChatGPT and go for New Chat or Continuous Chat with Show When Run. Then find Notes, choose Create Note and pick Quick Note as the folder or whatever folder you want. Drop it under Quick Note so you can now write your ideas super quick. Now search for calendar. Choose open calendar from Spark. Actually, Spark is the email app I use. This way, when you run the shortcut, it'll show your calendar for the entire day. Super handy for checking all your day's scheduled meetings. So here's a quick tip, guys. To make sure everything is good to go, hit the play button here, test each button, and name it action button menu and when you're happy, tap done. So we made the action button menu shortcut. Now let's use it on the action button. So just head to settings, find the action button, choose the menu shortcut we made. Now when you press and hold that action button, 
your menu with all the topics pops up. Here's a pro tip. You can also make a menu like this for your action button. Setting up this menu is so easy. Go to the shortcuts tab, tap the folder icon to create a new one, name it whatever you like, head to your shortcuts, pick the ones you want in the menu and move them all to your new folder. Now in your action button settings, choose this folder you just created. Then tap the action button and here they are. You'll see a different colorful menu view with all the shortcuts from that folder. So now it's your call which menu suits your action button vibe. So guys, comment below what kind of shortcuts do you use for your action button menu. And also if you're curious about my four months review with this iPhone 15 Pro, check out this video. See you in the next one.